everyone JRT here here to play some pioneer bucket list and uh, round one playing against a big ringer uh, but if you haven't seen the deck tech definitely go watch that so you know what this deck is about thanks again to card hoarder for hooking us up with the loner account and this hand is weird uh, we do have the turn two siphoner we have harness lightning and whatnot uh, but man is kind of awkward we have dig and marvel that are kind of clunky. I'm actually going to mulligan this. I don't know if that's right. And then obviously going to mulligan this hand with no land. Uh, this one we can keep though. Uh, it's not good. Put back both our big cards. Keep uh, the two removal spells. And we'll see what happens here. I find it hard to believe that this is the match I'm going to show. Considering how we're starting. But we'll see. Anything could happen. We got the turn one mock. Just need uh, like a mana confluence and we're ready to rumble. Or maybe we're not ready to rumble. It may be some time before we rumble. There we go. Oh, in soul. Hmm. Shiv and Reef, all right. So now, I was going to plan on playing the mock and then Thoughtseizing to get a counter, but since they're playing in soul, I think I'm just supposed to Thoughtseize right away. This could obviously be like a Stubborn Denial or something, but no. Uh, rebuke that's not quite there yet. Smuggler's Copter, which is scary. And then Skilled Animator, which... Yeah, we can, we can handle that thing. So I think we take the Copter... And then this leaves us, our opponent, with nothing to really do on the next turn unless they peel something. They're going to have Metallic Rebuke. Um, and then we could we could just pass with Harness Lightning or we could try and play the Mock and see if that's something they want to counter. I, I feel like they probably won't, but maybe even if they do, that's fine. So we'll see. We'll see. Shrapnel Blast in their hand. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot until we're at five, basically, but since our deck does damage ourself a decent amount, it is kind of a scary card, but yeah, the fact that our opponent has, like, Ornithopters and Rebuke, which might not be very good, and Shrapnel Blast, it might not be very good, I think maybe we can battle with our Mold of Five, so, uh, yeah, we could, we could try and run the Mock out there and see if they want to counter it. And then if they have land for skilled animator, we get punch for five, which I think is okay. Yeah, I feel like I don't want them to counter this, which is why I'm not playing the pain land first. Um, if they saw that we had a pain land, it's possible that they're just like, oh, they're going to get a bunch of energy. It's scary. So yeah, I think this is better for us. All right, Steam Vents happens. Animator happens. Uh, we're gonna take a damage, I th think. Yes. And then we have to kill the animator on our turn. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, we have to kill this thing on our turn. It's also like a cool interaction where you like lightning off a of pain land, you get the energy first. Yeah, so now we could play Shivan Reef to like get another energy, but yeah, I think I'm I think I'm good. Good for now. Uh oh, our opponent's doing stuff. Serpent. Ooh, Marvel. Okay. Uh, so we could try and sneak in the Marvel now. Because their Metallic Rebuke is going to be up. But then they're going to be able to rebuke our Harness Lightning. So I'm not sure which is better here. I basically just like don't want to get in range of this Shrapnel Blast. But... Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to just kill this thing. I 
and then maybe trade the Marvel for the Rebuke at some point and just be fine with that. But it is our last card. All right, Copter's in there, but they don't have anything to crew it quite yet. Uh, we could take some more damage to get some more energy, but I'm going to sit on that for now. And it's also worth noting that we can, like, cash in the Machinations at some point if we wanted to. But uh, I'm actually going to use this Deadlands on the Ornithopter. Now I'm basically dead. Okay. They didn't loot. You're supposed to always loot. All right. So I can't spin Marvel. So what I'm going to do is play Whirler. Hopefully they don't read Machinations and just Shrapnel Blast me. Maybe I should have, like, tapped the Shiv and Reef, too, to just, like, let them know that I'm tapped out. I don't know. Oh, I think they know what my card does. That's unfortunate. Well, we are a ways off from this Gear Hulk, but I think I just have to let this get Metallic Rebuke. Yeah, maybe my chances of winning were way higher if I just snuck into Marvel that turn and took the hit from, from the Stone Coil. Alright, opponent has a Shrapnel Blast left. dead I mean they might not they might not trap me for fear of a counter spell like I, I could pretty easily have drowned in the lock here so yeah, Bomat's fine looting is fine Discard Skilled Animator, interesting. Yeah, fair enough. All right, versus the Affinite. I like the K commands. Uh, Anger could possibly be good doesn't seem like they go very wide and they kind of hide behind the copter i could needle the copter too but then that lets them turn into five fives so i don't know uh looking at these six right now take out gear hulk because it's a clunker and i think the siphoners are probably not very good but maybe we need them to actually like grind through all their stuff so definitely like the legion's ends the disputes and the commands uh, I guess Needle could tag, like, Bowmat, too, but that's not particularly good. Yeah, let's, let's look at doing something like this. Uh, maybe we just want to, like, shave a Marvel. Downfall's pretty inefficient. And Thoughtseize is okay, but not great. Definitely don't want to draw multiples against the Shrapnel Blast deck. So yeah, let's try Siphoners on the play, and then maybe we want more one-mana interaction when we're on the draw, so maybe we'll want the Thoughtseize and the Needle then. We'll see.
plan for this matchup a little bit, but not a ton. <clears throat> like, I already have the K-Commands and the Legion's Ends and stuff, but... Yeah, I could maybe, maybe use a little more help. Like, maybe two extra cards in my opening hand would help, but... Mysteries. Uh, I wonder what happens if I jam Marvel on that turn, because then there's probably a turn where I get to activate Marvel, and that's always fun. I don't really care if I win or lose past that point. Like, say we Marvel into, like, Gear Hulk or Dig Through Time or something, then... Then it's on. Alright, so we will play first. Uh, this, this hand's dealing us a lot of damage. Not too surprising. I mean, we have two removal spells, Siphoner, Thoughtseize. Like, we're gonna... We're gonna be at 12 or something from our own lands. But we have all the cards we want. We just got to pay the price for them. Who would have thought that Skilled Animator would be in one of the top constructed decks in a format? Bizarre times. Pioneer just getting to merge cards from various eras. It's like, oh yeah, this card was for a limited draft archetype, and this card was for a limited draft archetype. Together, they build a constructed deck. Hope of Girapur, Smuggler's Copter, Ghostfire Blade. Uh, not going to care about the blade, so we just take the copter. The hope is kind of whatever. Uh, they're going to hope. I'm probably going to siphon her, and then they're going to get the blade equip, which is not great, but... Uh, yeah, maybe maybe that means we're supposed to take the hope. I don't know. Gonna try and draw an Aether Hub, so we can draw a card with Siphoner on two. Hopefully that'll find us some pain-free mana. But realistically, we don't have a ton of that in our deck. I mean, even if we draw a Shock Lane at this point, we're probably gonna have to shock ourselves. So Urborg might be the best draw. So I could Legion Zen to not take damage, but I'm pretty sure I just want to get this out there and start attacking with this thing. Use that as my card advantage engine. They'll probably go Spire Ghost Blade equip. Two Steam Vents and a random card left in hand. That's okay. So I could have, like, Harness Lightninged the Ornithopter. To get the extra energy to pay for Siphoner, but then that would leave me taking another hit for three, which I don't really want to do. Uh, so now if I kill the Hope main, they get to move the blade onto the Thopter, which is kind of annoying. So I think I have to pass in just Lightning in combat. And that runs the risk of me getting like Shrapnel Blasted or Metallic Rebuked or something, but I think that's just the cost of doing business. Okay. So we do take another hit for three. Our opponent has only two steam vents left. We go to eight off the siphoner. Our lands are still killing us. This is not ideal. Yeah, if we were a wedge instead of a shard, we would have two fast lands and two pain lands, uh, which would be nice. Uh, 
So maybe it's worth looking at other color combinations, like maybe Abzan is a thing. I don't know. I don't think you really get anything from whites, so then it's actually just being a fancy green black deck. Urborg, please, so I can cast my spells. Also, QB Turtle, what you doing? Multi queuing. Oh, we did it. We got we got the machinations. A little too late, unfortunately. So on the bright side, uh, our opponent has two steam vents in hand, and we have mystical dispute, so we can probably push and then dispute whatever they play. Uh, if it's a dispute or an animator or in soul or whatever, so we're looking okay. Just have to fade shrapnel blast at some point. Also, you know, draw land. Play 25, but no cantrips because I had 12 things to do on turn one. All right, so beginning of combat. I believe I would like to push, well, I guess I should wait for them to attack. Well, we're looking at kind of the same deal. Get the Fatal Push and Dispute. Uh, I wonder if there's better timing for this. It is probably just waiting until combat. In case they play like a Bomad or something. Could also Legion's in, but I kind of just want to keep Dispute open. And as I noted, you know, like Second Thoughts, he's is dead. They do have a random card, but I'm not about to jam this thing at the cost of three life when I'm at seven. So yeah, they have a Steam Vents. We'll close that. And I think we will draw a card off of Siphoner on our next turn, and then that's it. And then, then we're stopping. It is very awkward when you have all these reactive cards and your opponent doesn't have a draw that allows them to like play into them. All right, so second blade is fine. We're just trying to stop the creatures at this point. So push down to six. Their last card is steam vents. So uh, we could do this in theory. I think we kind of have to, honestly. All right, so there's Swamp. So I guess we just run out the mock. And we have already taken damage this turn, so it doesn't really behoove us to take another damage. Uh, but if they do draw Shrapnel Blast, we can, like, Take a damage, gain an energy, sack the machinations to drain them for three. So now we're not dead to trap anymore, which is good. And I think that means uh so like now, if we took a damage to gain the energy so we could siphon her, we would potentially be dead to trap on their end step. So I'm not gonna do that currently. And this means that I don't necessarily have a lot to do on my turn, which is kind of awkward, but is what it is. Maybe we need some more filtering in this deck, like Jace Burns Prodigy or something. All right, that copter might kill us. Oh, 
Uh, 43 cards through our deck. Only three lands. At least at this point we have a Harness Lightning, but they have a bunch of lands and... Antiquities War, huh? Alright, so we're a two. I guess we go to one. We did hit the Urborg. And we're going to have to drain them. In order to be able to cast spells. Although we still can't cast Whirler. Because we drew a bunch of stuff that only makes black. I guess our opponent's at six. So that's pretty good. Alright, another Copter is basically useless so we will drain them and at this point we are going to lose to the shrap so i'm just going to keep paying uh, so they're at one because of the machinations uh i can't even cast whirler so yeah i'm just gonna Discard this dig through time. Hope our opponent bricks again. I mean, if they if they draw a creature, I guess. Oh yeah, it is it is actually kind of awkward. Cause like if I try and kill this before they attack, then they just crew the other copter and hit me with it. So now I have to do this. Which means that I lose to Rebuke and Trap. Now they get to loot. I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to win this game. Maybe. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> God, that was weird. What a weird game. All right. Uh, Thoughtseize Needle seem decent. Yeah, I forgot Needle actually hits Blade too. So that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, anger is only okay. They just don't have that many creatures. I guess I'm just not supposed to be marbling at all. That makes sense. It's like I'm spending my energy on harness lightnings and siphoners and whirler virtuosos and whatnot. So. It's probably a better way to sideboard anyway. Let's just have a good, clean game. Mold of five, game one was still pretty close. Game two, also very close, uh, despite me being stuck on like two and three lands for a while and also punching myself in the face a bunch. So, uh, also have not like resolved the Kolagon's command, which means that this matchup is likely quite good when I do draw one. So, we'll see. See if that happens. Would have loved to have some, some good life gain at the end there. I mean, I don't know if there's any way for us to do, like, Machinations plus Creeping Chill or whatever. That was another interesting one. Collective Brutality doesn't seem particularly good. Yeah, this sounds good. Uh, red Black Mana. Five removal spells. We could never draw a third land, maybe, but... Got plenty of time to potentially get there. Dub? Fine. I guess I won't deal myself more damage. Alright, now what? Uh, we could just jam a Legion's End on this thing, although we may want to save that for a future in Soul, so it's probably just pass with Harness Lightning open. Yep, that's fine. Can just use our energy to kill this thing. I 
And then we we can just go shatter discard. I think that's good. Only leaves them with one card and oh, yeah, discard land, which is not super helpful, but yeah, like our spot. Uh, Whirler is certainly nice. Wonder if I'm just supposed to jam this. I think, especially since I have the K command, I am. Yeah, so if they go to kill this, I'll probably make a Thopter. And since they are just Bomat passing, I don't think I make a Thopter now, because I think what I'm going to do is attack with the Whirler and probably keep the Thopter back to block the Bomat, so I don't need to make it right now. All right, more removal. So let's go, Whirler. Carry me. Also possible that I'm supposed to make the Thopter attack for three and then just, like, push the, the Bomat. Yeah, it's a problem. That is a problem. So I could K command, kill the Bowmat, and make them discard their last card. Uh, I think I like just waiting on this to see what they get. They picked up a Stone Coil. That's pretty good for them. So I could Harness to get plus an energy. Fatal Push seems like the worst card in my hand, actually. Uh, I do need to save something for the Stone Coil, which is basically what Legion's End is for. And then hopefully with all this removal, we can just make it so we don't get attacked by a bunch of 5-5s. Five uh, this is effectively just like a divination for them, which is not super powerful of a sideboard card, but obviously you bring it in when you have it. So yeah, that's in there. Okay. So this means rebuke probably. So I could harness the stone coil... Uh, they do have a Citadel, I guess, which is going to become a 5-5. Five, five. God, it's awkward, because if they draw Animator, I guess I can just Legion's end that thing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then should I cast this and take two damage? I think I'm supposed to. Oh, stuff. Jeez. Yeah, I just assumed it was rebuke, but I guess that makes sense. Awkward. Awkward. Definitely did not have to run into that. And now I don't have a removal spell for this 5-5 copter because I kept the sorcery one. I don't know why they would play that and then not loot, but yeah, I'm going to trade this thopter uh, for five life. Another Legion Zen, so I can just blow that on the Hope pretty easily. Uh, I could also just Deadlands it, which might be better. Dispute is encountering a ton right now.
No, I guess even if they draw in soul, I can still dispute it to not get punched for five and then Legion's in the thing, so. Brick, 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 brick. But don't draw lands, let my dispute still lie. They had to have drawn in soul, right? Oh, they haven't even drawn yet. Never mind. I was like, oh, clearly they're thinking, and it's just like their upkeep. Dig through time, please. Oh no. I'm getting brutade. Too strong. Sorcery only, huh? Yep. Alright, well this this actually does stuff. Oh, uh, this is this is awkward actually. I was thinking about if I choose to Legion's End, then I could leave open a pain land to make a token. If I needed to. But then I chose to just Deadlands instead. <clears throat> which meant that I couldn't make a token. So now I can make a token, but I die to Shrap, and they just go Brick Brick, so I win. Whee! Could have used some more closing power, for sure. Uh, not sure if there's, like, a, a Planeswalker that would be good. Maybe something like Royal Scions could do filtering, and then obviously that has a pretty good alt, too. Uh, Jace would have been pretty good, too. But yeah, uh, K-Command looked good. Uh, Legion Zen was good against some of their stuff. Uh, you know, if they had, if they drew in soul, obviously this card's great, but, uh, definitely bad against copter and the skilled animator. So that's something to consider. Definitely don't want to overload on these, but yeah, that's it. Uh, we're going to cross this one off the bucket list, which of course means that I'm going to have to finish out my league with this at some point. And, uh, I'll be back sometime probably next week with another one. If y'all have any suggestions for sweet decks you want to see. Let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, check us out on Twitter at Arena Decklist, at Pioneer Decklist, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.